In this video, I will show you how to create a Google Tag Manager account with container. And also we will take a quick overview of the GTM interface. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. And if you want to stay up to date with Google Tag Manager, consider subscribing. This video is a part of video series called Google Tag Manager for Beginners. So if this is the first video that you're watching, I highly recommend to check the description of this tutorial to start from the very first lesson. Okay, so let's not waste your time and let's learn how to create a GTM account with container. First, let's create a Google Tag Manager account and container. To do that, go to google.com slash tag manager. And you will see a page that looks something like this. Even if it looks a bit different for you, just keep looking for a button that says start for free. Click it. And then you will see different view depending on whether you have an account or not. So if you are completely new to Google Tag Manager and you never had access to any Google Tag Manager container, you will see a view like this. And if you already have at least one Google Tag Manager container, a view might look something like this. In that case, click create account and you will be redirected right here. Now let's create a Google Tag Manager account. Here you can enter your company's name. Just for sake of demonstration purposes, I can enter something like GTM course. Then you can choose your country. You can decide whether you want to share data anonymously with Google. And then you can enter the container name. In this case, you don't have to enter the URL right here. It can be just a simple word or several words. For example, blog, support website, main website, something like that. Or of course you can enter the domain. From what I have seen, in most cases, people are creating one container for one website. Therefore, you can, of course, enter here the domain of the site. But right now we can enter GTM course website. In this course, we will be focusing on the web container. Therefore, choose this one and click create. Then you will need to agree with terms of service. And then you will see a pop-up like this. Now Google Tag Manager is asking you to add both of these codes to your website. For now, let's close this and we will get back in upcoming lessons. Before we continue, first let's take a look at the structure of Google Tag Manager account. Here you have a Google account. Now this account is designed to help you access all of the Google products like Google Analytics, Google Ads, Gmail, YouTube, or anything else. When on Google Tag Manager website, you click start for free and then you were logged in into Google Tag Manager interface, you are actually using your Google account. Then when we logged into Google Tag Manager, we were asked to create a new Google Tag Manager container. Now, the best practice is to have one Google Tag Manager account per business. So if you are a business that has five websites, you should have one Google Tag Manager account. And within that account, you could have multiple containers. Usually one container is for one website. Of course, let's say if you have five very identical websites and the only thing that differs is the language, then you could have one container for all five websites. But in most cases, it makes more sense to have one container for one website. So if you have a main website, blog, support page, um, something else, then each website could have a different container. Why different container? Because in that container, we will be having tags triggers and variables. Now I will talk about them a bit later, but basically your tracking codes will be held in that container. And usually tracking codes are different for each website. Therefore, it makes sense to have a separate container for every website. All right, so now we are in the container of Google Tag Manager. A container is a place where you keep all your stuff related to web tracking. So for example, if you want to implement Facebook Pixel, Google Analytics, Google Ads, all of those tracking codes are stored in a container. And when a visitor lands on a website, first Google Tag Manager is loaded. I mean, the container is loaded. And then from that container, various tracking codes are activated based on your conditions. In the top menu bar, we have three sections, workspace, versions, and admin. And right now we are in the workspace. So this is the section where you will be spending most of your time because that's where the actual work is happening. And on the left side, you will find sections like tags, triggers, variables, folders, and templates. Tags are basically tracking codes that you want to activate under certain circumstances. Triggers are those conditions that define when the tag should fire. And variables are usually little pieces of information that you can use in your setup. Or maybe some little helper functions, but let's not focus on that right now. Then you can also keep things in order by having folders. 
and keeping your tags, triggers, and variables in separate folders. This works pretty much the same as folders in your laptop. When you make some changes in a container and you want to test that, then you will need to click the preview button right here, and then we will enable the preview mode that allows us to test everything just within the boundaries of our browser. And when you make sure that everything is working fine as you expected, then you will need to publish the container. And that publishing process starts by clicking the submit button right here. When you click this, you will need to enter the version name. Now this is optional, but I highly recommend that you enter some descriptive and brief name of a version. And we will do that a bit later in the course. I mean, when I explain how to do that. But now here's a catch. When you create a new Google Tag Manager container without any tags, triggers, or variables, or whatever, because you will see that all of those, let's say, triggers are empty. I mean, there are no triggers or tags. You still need to publish a container because otherwise the preview mode will not work. Now, you don't know yet what a preview mode is probably, but still, let's focus now on just publishing an empty container. So click Submit. You can enter right here, empty container, and then click publish. And now we see that we have one live version, which is version number one. This is what you need in order to start properly working with Google Tag Manager. If you see something like container not published right here, you will have to do so. Otherwise, preview mode will not work. And preview mode will be covered a bit later. So when a container is published, what happens is that a new version of a container is created. And you can see the list of versions right here. Now, currently you have only one version because we just published the container once. But in the future, when you will be working more with Google Tag Manager, you will have more items in this list. For example, right here, I have a container already with four versions. Now, the reason why versions are useful because if in case you publish something incorrectly and maybe some tracking functionality breaks your website's actual functionality, because that is possible, you can then quickly revert to the previous version and let's say publish version three to your visitors because you know that the breaking changes were introduced in the version four. And then the last main section of Google Tag Manager interface is the admin. So here we have account settings and container settings. Here you can click install Google Tag Manager. And here you will see two tracking codes that must be added by your developer to a website. Then you can also see container or account activity. You will see who did what then you can import container or export container. So this is quite useful. For example, if you want to reuse some parts of your container in another container, so you can just click export, select what you want to export, and then import those items in another container. Also here we have user management, so you can set some permissions on the account level. This means that your, your coworker will have access to multiple containers at the same time, or you can set permissions on the container level. If you want to create an additional container in this account, you can click on this plus icon right here. Also, one more place where you can get the tracking code of your Google Tag Manager, I mean, the same as it is right here, you can go to Workspace and you can click on this container ID right here. And you will see that pop-up that we saw initially after we created the Google Tag Manager container. All right, so that was a quick overview of the Google Tag Manager interface and how to create your first container. Now, let's go to the next lesson and you will find the link to it below the video. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager, I have a free ebook that you can download. It's called Google Tag Manager for Beginners. I will post a link to that ebook also below the video. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about GTM or GA4, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.